We're on. We're on, here we go. Here we go. What time is it now? My watch is wrong. It's 9pm um, on a Sunday. Is oh, it? I don't like working weekends or late nights. It's well, 9pm. Probably 9 what's, Sunday. what's needed, don't I it? I should set my... Has anyone actually got the right time? What's that off? Oh, I see. It's the, uh, it's the bit where he does the uh, talking clock on the office. That's it. There it's you go. Time. Um, so anyway, uh, we're down a mic. We're here to help you that's us. with your online fitness business. We have a members site that's oh, going to help you do all that sort of stuff. Great with a CTA. Why not? Because do you know what? BB members. Yeah, actually, it, I know this is going to sound ridiculous. No, it's not going to sound ridiculous. But it is actually the thing that I wish was around when I was starting out. Because I wouldn't have had to partner up with him. So... Best thing that I've ever happened to you, isn't it? Um, well, I could say the same for you. But, um, true. No, I, even when we first started, I think even if when we first started together, we, if we had this, it would have been, been great. So It actually um, would have. It would have. I've never like, actually thought about that. I was thinking about this the other day, and I was like, because the way I describe it to someone is it's not too overwhelming where there's loads of shit, but it's also not like nothing to do. You do have to have like the time to dedicate to it, but we would have done. We would have spent an hour watching a video a week and gone, right, let's implement this. Let's make sure it's relevant. I've never actually thought of that. It would have been good, wouldn't it? It would have, like, it would have been. Like, cause no it's one's actually done it. fucking sick thinking about it. No one's done it or is doing it and we're only making it better. We're only adding to it. We're only making things things better. But, um, no doubt yeah. people will copy us, but they won't do it as well. So uh, and and look, we, I, as far as I'm aware, in, in the small circle of people that we obviously are, are involved in, the, I'm with any people I know doing it. Yeah. Everyone else is doing really, really high ticket stuff and we've just gone, we don't need to. Well, saying that they're doing high ticket. They say they're doing high ticket, they but are they doing high ticket? Are they? Not well, the, what are they hey, saying on numbers, Instagram? Those numbers aren't what you're claiming them to be. Um, oh, scaling to how much? No, wow. Well, not dirhams, maybe. Sh- yeah, surely so, not. Well, um, anyway. But anyway, today what we're talking about, we're talking about... We're actually talking about coaches copy... Oh, one sec, Stephen Bartlett stuff. Uh, I hope loads of people are watching this. Um, you're not. A couple of hundred max. Um, so help us out, will you? More of you watch it, please. And share, share it. it. Just oh. do something with it. Do you know, at this point, tell everyone. I don't even care if you're an online coach or not. Just, just send it to your mum. Just, just send it to your mum. Get her to watch it in 10 minutes. Whatever, innit? Right, and then just we'll be all good. Take a, take a phone, screen, like, snapshot, and just say, I think what, what our problem is, is no one watches it on a laptop, so they're watching it on the phone. And they're not, you're not going to do a screenshot. Do a screenshot. Well, do don't watch s- it on your phone. Pause this now. Watch it on your TV. It's too much. Put, the, put a couple on. Friction. <sighs> We just we didn't think about it, didn't we? Fucking share it. Let's just do it as a podcast. Do we? Th- I don't sound desperate. Do don't we? think we need more people having a podcast? Do we? Let's start a podcast, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> not everyone should have a podcast. Wow, well, that's just the not in this case. Um, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about coaches copying content. Whether as a coach you should copy other people's content. I think so. I mean, there's no. Of course, else. It, of course, it, of course, they're going to copy content because coaches are fucking clueless, mate. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, all of you watching this, who will literally be here watching this because that's who it's targeted to that. You're all clueless. So why, why wouldn't you be copying content? Yeah. So you wow. know, if you feel comfortable copying people's content, then why shouldn't you do that? I hate, I hate people saying you should create your own content. Nah. I, that really, really rubs me up. Well, it's funny when, because when you get people like you actually saying you should be creative with your own content, you should be authentic, you should have your own voice, and you should make content that's, you know, related to the demographic that you want to work with. I hate, I hate that you give that advice. Yeah, didn't we? Didn't we do this first? This YouTube thing. I think so. Yeah, podcast. Uh, yeah. The first people to ever do it, weren't we? Ever. Ever in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There you go. So. Let me tell you about this time I was on first class <laughs> on the... Oh, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> that's a different, that's, no, that wasn't me. That's a different story. Okay. That wasn't was me, yeah, yeah. Was, you, <laughs> what he means is the chase. He was on the chase. I was on the chase. TV. And Bradley Walsh came up and I said, my watch is <laughs> something about... <laughs> what? Five grand you went on that show. What? Six. What it was. six, was so, it? You won oh, six. Oh, yeah. Surprised it didn't make your head go a bit, you know. Yeah, I know, yeah. No, it's not like you ever talk about it, is it? No, 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 no. No, no never. Oh, no, no, no. Um, right, it's funny though, because actually, I see on, yeah, I think I've seen <laughs> That it means really I earned um, six figures though from The Chase. Yeah, that's true. Well, it, you yeah, know, yeah. with growth. Yeah. I, well, and then over time. Well, no, six grand a day. You earned. I earned six hundred a so day. One point eight million so a I, year, mate. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, that's right. it. I could have yeah. said, yeah, I made. Uh, so what is it? 40, 42 grand this week. Forty-two banked. grand weekly banked. collected, 
168 a month. Projecting 20 million in 2025. Killing it. So, so there's your social proof. Um, what, what more do you need? What, what more do you need? What more do you need? Um, so, so it's funny actually because on the topic of copying, coaches copying content, um, I actually saw a content creator who advises people on what to post and what content to create had copied word for word another content creator's videos because I follow the other content creator. Mm. And I watched it and I was like, hang on a minute. I was like, I've heard that before. Went back to it. Yeah, there was three of them. Those three. There was those three direct. And I'm not even saying like the rough topic. Word for word. And this person helps people create better content, which instantly made me doubt their ability, <laughs> number one, because they've copied someone. And again, word for word. And it just like... Straight away from that point, I was like, right, maybe this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, so think about that. Um, that, you know, even content creators at that high level with, you know, lots of followers um, who help people create content, maybe sometimes don't even know how to create content. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's, a, that's another video in it for another time. In the members group, that one will be. We'll talk about that in the members group. Yeah. Plug. Um, but I appreciate as well, like, I think with content, the, the key thing that I would say is that you can take inspiration from people's content. Like, we've had inspiration for some far content from other comedians. Like I think we watch other comedians. You're not a comedian. <laughs> so no, uh, from comedians. Um because we saw the guy who did the uh the Dragon's Steve Den. Bartlett one, Steve didn't Bartlett, he? Yeah. He did the Steve Bartlett one, he was really, really good. Although but we had already done the Dragon's Den one. We had already done the Dragon's Den one to be fair. So we d- we d- he copied us. He copied us if anything. Um but we did the um and, and but to be fair, I think when we did the Steve Bartlett one we did tag him in as well, give him credit. We did, yeah. That's what you should do yeah. with this sort of stuff. But then no, we're just talking about general content now and like general content ideas and all this sort of stuff. And um I think from our point of view, we always say to people like, try creating the content that you want to create. Be be think about what you want to do, whether you want to do talking head videos, whether you want to do sit downs like this. Think about the stuff that you really enjoy making because what you enjoy making will be the thing that you can consistently make over time. If you base your content idea and strategy off other people's content, that has a shelf life, number one. Because what happens when they change their content style, you're just going to copy it and change it? Like, you don't know if yours is working, not working, all that sort of stuff. Um, But the big thing that we we talk about in our stuff, and I do in our one-to-one check-ins that we do with our clients, one-to-one. not It's not our performance coach, it's me and you that do it, isn't it? Yeah. I actually like look at their content, bring it up and go, oh, have you thought about, you know, these hooks may be working quite well and what sort of content style you enjoy making at the moment? Should we maybe try this one? And one of the best things you can do when it comes to creating your content is to not watch other coaches' content. That is rule number fucking one in content creation, isn't it? Yeah. He'll tell you. I'll tell you. I've always said that. We've had meetings, we've both said it. So, yeah. Um, And I cannot stress it enough that when you become an online coach and you work with one of us, I would say to you, please, please, please do not look at other coaches' content because <clears throat> most of them are fucking shit. Yeah. So you are copying someone else's content that you think looks good, but is absolutely shit. And they could be looking at your content thinking, oh, I wish I made mine like theirs. You have no idea whether it's working or not for them. And some of the advice I see given out is woeful when it comes to content creation. It's jumping on trends. Like I think the advice around content creation is just to to jump on trends, which I just don't think is good advice. To be completely honest, because if you're banking your whole business on jumping on the trend and it going viral and you're getting a lot of followers, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want to do that. Like I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to create content for months on end. Is this video gone viral? Yeah, ten thousand views. Yeah, <laughs> like again. <laughs> yeah. I've Look at us as an example. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't need to. Like that's 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 the thing is that um, the the phrase that I like to use or the advice that I like to say is um, just imagine that you've only got fifty followers and all fifty followers are your target market who need to listen to the advice that you have, who've got the same sense of humor, who consume it in you know X way. Let's just say. So just imagine that there's only those people um, viewing it. So what content would you make then without the blur of, of other coaches or fe- fear of backlash or being called out or standing out or doing something different without that fear? Imagine you're the only person doing it and you're just trying to attract one of these 50 people in. Like Then then make that content because then that should be authentic to, to both them and to you. Um, like Dan said there, like the... the, the um, I'm talking to the audience now. I should be talking to you. But like you just said there, um, we're all here. We're all yeah, one. We're all in the room. We're all, we're all one. Um, 
the worst thing that you can do is is be a, a second rate version of somebody else, especially when you don't know how well that that person's doing. So we've got somebody who's copying our content, um, badly, badly, really badly. Um, and following all our followers. I'm following up, you know. Blocked him now. Blocked, yeah. He's bl- he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, I th- he's still copying it though. He's still fine. Yeah, we still get sent it. Um, <laughs> interesting enough, uh, speaking to. Um, Think, uh, I think it was Caitlin, your client, uh, on the Dubai, Dubai event. So just she got to Dubai to meet us. Nah, we signed, uh, a bit of, signed a picture for her, didn't we? Yeah. Well, my VA did. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I uh, and she said um, she'd worked with this specific guy, and he's changed his narrative because he's seen us change our narrative to. Well, we've never changed our narrative. Our narrative is our narrative. Uh, you don't need a VA. You can have one if you want. We don't need one. Uh, and now he's saying that yet when you join his mentorship he actively says you need to have a VA because you need to send X amount of messages per day so now not only are they copying content um, but they're actually copying content that doesn't even align with what they believe in um, which is fuck it, which is fucking crazy but the way that we deal with it is um, we slag them off on here that's get yourself a podcast. <laughs> now, the way that we deal with it is, I don't really, I don't really care because it it does come across when you've got someone sending it to you, going, "Well, this sounds familiar. That sounds a lot like yours." Yeah, it, it, tells, you it, it, it tells you everything you need to know. People know it's from you because you should be the one creating it. You should be the one thinking of it, and it should be said in your own way of saying it. And when you create enough of that content, you will attract the right type of person because they're there for you being authentic. The worst thing that you can do is be inauthentic, be the same as every other coach, and start to attract people, if you ever do attract people, that aren't a correct fit, that don't stay for your coaching for for, for very long, that don't get your result, and aren't raving fans. Although, we don't have any. Um... Um, no, the, are, they, are they the ones that send us all the stuff? Yeah, oh, those are the ones. Oh, is that them? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, those those ones. Yeah. Um, just is there, <coughs> is there 420 of them in the group? 420 in the 427, I think it was this morning. Was it? Yeah. Um, we don't have any though. No one. No one likes. <laughs> no one. Likes. Saying that, me, but me and you are in there as well. So 425. It doesn't count because there's two of us. Doesn't, and there's two of us. It doesn't count. 425. Yeah, it doesn't. There is, no. it doesn't. Procter and Gamble. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The Chuckle Brothers. Um, Mate, that's, they're the best ones. Doesn't count. Doesn't well, there's count, two of them. Right? No. You can't laugh at them. There's two of them. It's cheating. Cheating. That um, so. Ant and Deck, you know. Works, doesn't it, as a two. Well, Always works know. better as a two, really. So. It shows that we've got friends. Um, um, yeah, but anyway... Um, so in in our opinion, don't don't be jumping on trends. Don't be worrying too much about well, um I'm gonna caveat that and say you can jump on trends once you have your own way of doing things and you can you can use that to your advantage. But jumping I, on it for, for, for jumping on its I sake. Jump is on a trend. I would jump on guidelines. If there's guidelines of here's how to create a reel, which is start with a good hook, well, yeah, yeah. no brainer. Yeah. That's like the the um the subject line of, a, of an email, you're not going to make the subject line of an email fucking boring. The whole point is that it's clickbait. The word clickbait has been around for years. Like Facebook, uh, Facebook videos, YouTube videos, that's all it is. You're, you're creating something that's clickbait on a reel. So yeah, no brainer. Um, two, make it interesting and make sure that you're chopping up uh, angles every two or three seconds to keep people interested. Again, no brainer. Again, you could look back at our old YouTube videos, we knew that we couldn't film at any one position for too long. We would set up different areas, well, go out for walks. Yeah. You would set them up <laughs> and I would turn up. I would say... Um, I, I this was, is my VA when I'm ready, when you need me in shot. And I'll yeah, I was, I was, yeah, and I would say, oh, this is... Um, is this tap water that you've given me? Yeah, it and was, then after I finished bouncing it off his head, um, I, yeah. I would then turn up and do my thing on camera, and yeah. they'd all love it. Yeah, they'd all be you know uh, loving it in the comments and stuff, saying, "Oh, mate, you are you are brilliant." Mm. How do you stay so so down to earth? And I said, "Have I told you about when I went first class um, <laughs> on a?" Uh, no, that's not me. No, that was business class on the plane. It was you. That business that class was, on yeah. the plane, I and just, the and the waitress. That was the funniest story. Was that was the one when you on that when you said about the the dessert? It still gets me every time. Oh uh, no! Yeah, should I tell that? Yeah, tell that okay. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two things makes you really relatable to people. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, two yeah, two yeah, things yeah, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, fly business class now. Ah, what? 
No way. Nah, no, well, you can't say that. Well, I don't do want to be stuck at the back with... You can't say that. What? You can't say oh, that. I wasn't going to call them scum. Uh. Um, <laughs> they're not scum. You know, I was there before, but now I'm better. So, um, I'm obviously joking, but... Yeah, I've, we, we, yeah you know, because you fly business class because you, moved to Dubai, you actually moved to Dubai and didn't stay in England. Rather than having to get trains, you get planes. I get planes. That's right. That's it. Because you actually moved to Dubai. Yeah. I, th- I feel uncomfortable saying that, take business class. But, but we shouldn't. That. So, okay, flying business class. and um, Free upgrade. Yeah, <laughs> just, let's just go with that. Then. Yeah, free upgrade, whatever. Um, and uh, the, there's the woman coming down the aisle. And uh, you won't you won't been uh, business class. <laughs> yeah, you won't uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> you won't yeah. know. And anyway, they hand you these... Um, uh, are they warm or cold? I can't remember. They're warm. Yeah. Warm. Are they warm? Yeah. Yeah. I do know. know. <laughs> you get a free upgrade as well. I know. Um, <laughs> and they, they hand you these uh, these warm these warm towels with, with these little prongs. And as she's coming up the aisle, I'm sat there and wait, waiting for it. And she's going, warm towel, sir? To this one. Yeah, it's taking it. Cool. Next one across there. Uh, warm towel, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, next one. Warm towel, sir. Yeah, it comes to me. Do you want one, mate? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I want one, mate? Um, yeah, I did want one. Uh, but why is it... What? Warm, warm towel, sir. Warm it's towel, ma'am. It's, it's, it's the tattoos. Do, Do you the, want one, mate? The, and the, then dessert comes out, right? So I've had my meal... They don't want to know. Uh, it's like a, they come out with these lovely, like, these warm nuts or uh, like olives and stuff and whatever drinks you want, really. Um, if you're not going to the bar just at the back to get them, you know, stand at the bar for a bit if you want. You know, sure, do what you want. Back there as well, do what you want, yeah. It's yeah. A380, so upper deck. Um, so, so is this a plane, is it not a train? It's a, yeah, it's a plane. Oh, sorry, it's definitely I, a plane. It's definitely I a plane. And I, and, I, and I said to her, I, uh, my watch is more than what you were. No, that's not me again. <laughs> Um, no, that wasn't like me. You. No, that wasn't you. That no, that weren't me. Um, <laughs> and anyway, uh, I'm, I'm ordering dessert. So I'd had my, my start in uh, entrees and stuff. And, they know how that you know, works, mate. They, know, they know that dessert comes after those, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I was just in between watching Succession and stuff. It's brilliant. Um, just in the little bed, I took all the way up <laughs> to, till I was sat up till I could eat, you know. And um, I said, yeah, I'll have the, uh, the chocolate tart, please. Oh, no, we've, uh, we've only got a couple of those left. Yeah, <laughs> and I want one of them. Couldn't have one. We've only got a couple left. What? For someone more important than me? Probably. Right. Like, so mean, not yeah, only have everyone I, else on the plane probably. Not yeah. Not only have I had the do you want one, mate? <laughs> warm towel. Well, I've not won a prize to be here. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like it's like I shouldn't be here. Something like a sore thumb or whatever. And um, yeah, just like oh no, we've only got a couple of those left. Okay. Right. So I'll have one. Yeah. So, one so of make sure I have one. Then the, go the, get it quickly. The, the same thing happened to me when I was in the RAF because I, I went to get some uniform change and I needed to, to change shirt I, like, I, need, I need a new shirt oh we've only got three left in that size yeah no one <laughs> no we can't give you it because we've only got three left yes there's three of them I want one of them <laughs> but surely by that regard then no, no one gets one then because no, there's three left they want someone of a higher rank but oh, I need but I need just a cleaner in yeah, the yeah. The, that was it oh. I was a uh, uh, scum did the guy know. did the guy in t- in t- in t- above you did he say have you seen my watch it's probably he said um, he went he sorry said, mate you can't have this one someone with a bigger watch bigger watch is going to get this one yeah that's it yeah. Um, so yeah that's uh, that was definitely on a plane though it was uh, a plane it was on a li- live in Dubai and yeah, yeah. not a train no not a train um, I wasn't a tracksuit though so that will be it I reckon yeah yeah. Uh, we should start a podcast, bro. Um, this is a podcast, isn't it? Oh, no, we don't, don't have one there. No. Where were we? What were we on? Oh, what I don't know. Something on? about joining the members group for ninety-nine pounds with no contract. I think. I think that was. <laughs> I think that was what we were on. Was it? I think that's what we said. I think that was. That's, that's, the, that's where we're going with it anyway. Yeah. See. Um, Subtle with the. In terms of copying content, the other thing I think is really important, um, so that you don't fall into that trap, is. Please, 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 if you need inspiration for content, look at other industries, look at other things, go on your explore page on Instagram, follow other people that you really enjoy and just see what other stuff people are interested in, liking, all that sort of stuff. Because I think the other thing about fitness is you get really into just the tiny corner of the fitness industry that you're in on your phone, on Instagram, on social media. And when you look at other people's Instagrams, you realize that there's not just half naked bodies everywhere all the time. You go on people's explore pages and you realize there is a normal shout out there. Um, doesn't look like that. Um, and, you know, I think it's really important that you look at other people's content so that you get an idea of what is working for other people or what things you like or what things you enjoy. Because 
too many people are just are just looking at stuff that someone in fitness does and goes, oh, that must work. They look good. They they've got a thousand followers. I'll just copy them. No, nah, brilliant. All right, if that's the way we're going, um, and I look, I know you guys are clueless with this stuff, right? I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. But don't say that. Right? You're the one. <laughs> you should be helping them, surely. Yeah. If you want help with it, join a members group because that's where we will help you with it. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's my don't job. have a go at people. Over- my job to help you with that. Well, though. don't have a go at people for creating content the same. They are clueless. So yeah, but you should help them though. No. No. That's what, we're, this, that's what we're doing now. Is we're helping well, no, them with that. just naturally. Oh, no, just, we're not helping them with it. We're just telling them they're clueless with it and go yeah, copy. Just, yeah, go copy. and just copy, yeah. Go copy. But everyone copies. Just go copy everyone else's stuff. Just everyone copies, you know. Um, with that. I mean, <coughs> just look at normal life. You know, you everyone. copy your parents when you're growing up, you know, how to walk and stuff. So you might as well copy your content. It's, uh, it's exactly uh, the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Um, so, yeah. The other thing around co- content as well <laughs> that you have to remember. <laughs> we're having a good time here. Um, you can tell it's late at night on a Sunday because um, we're grinding. Um, is the other thing you have to remember with content is your niche. It has to be related to your niche. It has to be relevant to your niche. So just, let's say, for example, you copy someone else's content, right? That you think looks great and is great. They may have a completely different niche to you. And you have to remember, like, ask yourself the question, is this content helping the people that I help? So let's just use an example of a high-protein Audi shop because that's topical, isn't it? Everyone well, everyone's doing them. If you work with busy professionals who work in the city... Pratt. Waitrose? Nah, that's not... Nah, mate. No, nah, they go to Aldi. They definitely shop at Aldi. Yeah. They could probably get their VA to go for them, to be fair. I that's do. what they do. Did I tell you about this time I went first class on a tram? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is Does anyone need that information? Ask yourself that question. So I think when you start looking at your niche and you start looking at it properly and you start understanding their wants, their needs and their issues and all that sort of stuff, right? Actually, you know, have someone helping you that does their job properly where they help you with your niche and their pain points. What you'll find is that you start creating content that's, that's for them. Not for everyone else on Instagram, not for other people in the industry, not for other people in fitness that you're going to copy. You're going to, like Mike said about those 50 followers, you're going to help those 50 followers with their problems, their pain points. Create that content that's going to actually help them. Once you start doing that, you then start putting your own personal twist on things. You start putting your own little bits of humour, maybe. Ah, it's not funny, is it? Not in this it's case. not funny. Um, you put your own little twist on it, your own humour, your own personality, <sighs> things you say, whether you swear or not, whether you don't swear, whatever it might be. But there's too many people out there just being second-rate coaches or second-rate content creators because they're just copying other people who are also second-rate. Um, and they're just jumping on the next thing, the next trend, all that sort of stuff. What we encourage you to do and what we always do with anyone who, when they first join the members group for £99 a month is they go deep into their niche and they go deep into what the pain points are of their, of their demographic. So of those 425 people that are in the group that you know need our help, they've all got different niches. They've all got different things. So for them, protein shops may not be useful. For some of them, it might be. They're not. Um, but... Everyone has their own different style. So some people do really well with like doing character skits. They love them. They're of that age. They're of that demographic where it works really, really well. Some people do really good talking head videos because for their niche is a bit more serious, a little bit more practical. Some people do great training videos because their niche is all about training, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we just turn up and talk like idiots because that's what our niche are into. So it works. But this is the thing with content is that there's no point copying someone else's content because you can't copy their niche. So think about it like that. I think that's that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Anything else to add to that? Oh. Just like it. Just hit like and yeah. subscribe. and Subscribe. Share it with all your mates. Come on, just share us around. Because right. we we've, ev- we've got no raving fans, so oh, we I do know. need I know. some. We can make some stuff up. We've looked at the analytics, and, we and, have, yeah, and 70% of the people watching this video haven't actually subscribed yet. Oh, so what? what you, hit that subscribe button. Oh, hit that subscribe I'm not used to that doing hard. this. Hit that yeah. Hard. Hit, yeah, hit it. Uh, subscribe and then it'll help us to get guests on and uh, there'll be no guests Um, no one wants to come out do they no it's too hot in Dubai for a lot of people you know do they yeah anyway yeah so done that's it